Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So it's new pen day from Atlas Stationers. And I just have to say, this pen wouldn't be possible without all of those who have used my affiliate link and code. So this one is because of you guys supporting me and supporting my channel, so thank you. So my order came with this postcard that said, thanks, you rock. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep this because I love keeping these cards. So, without further ado, what do you think I got? Yes, another Esther book. So let's unbox this. Unbox this one. What do you think I got based on my nail color? What do you think? I actually just had my nails done today, and I've had this box sitting in sitting on my desk for almost two weeks and I wanted to wait until I got my nails done. So, all of the Estherbrook pens come in this cardboard box and then this cloth clamshell box. And I love the detailing on the box there with the Estherbrook established 1858. So let's go ahead and open that up. So even before I get to the pen, you get this little envelope here that actually has a little QR code where you can scan to activate your pen. So all of the information that is in here is warranty, care instructions, things like that. And then you also get a cartridge, which I just put to the side. And then here is the pen. This is the Esterbrook SD in petrified forest and I think I'm sorry I'm looking at my nails again I think I chose the right nail color for this look at that so I looked into why is this particular pen called petrified forest and this is the this is not the newest SD the botanical garden is the newest SD but this celebrates the beauty of route 66 and when you're on Route 66 in the U.S., you bypass all the shortcuts for the long way around the country. So really, you're just taking the scenic route and you enjoy the natural splendor along the way, which includes the namesake of this pen and the accompany, accompanying painted forest. So if you actually look up Petrified Forest on Google, you will see that the color is actually very similar to what is in this pen. So you've got like the mix of oranges and co uh, corals. Looks like there's a bit of white in there. And then even like the black that looks like, what the heck is that in there? That's actually part, that looks like what's part of the tree. And there's some translucency and chatoyancy in there. It's just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I got this in the uh, gold, the gold finish. So with the gold clip and the gold Esterbrook, and then it has the cushion cap. So if you notice, you have to push the cap in or the pen into the cap to get it to close. And when you're uncapping it, watch, it kind of just bounces out there because of the cushion cap system here, which helps the ink to stay wet in there and not dry out. And here is the nib. It is an extra fine Yovo nib with the Esterbrook logo on there. So I've already done a full review of my first Esterbrook SD in Nouveau Blue, but I'll go ahead and show you the comparison to other pens in my collection. So here is the Esterbrook SD in the Petrified Forest next to the Le Bon 325. And you can tell actually that they're quite similar in length, but the Le Bon 325 is wider. Then you have the Twisby Diamond 580, Pelican M605, the Venu Talisman in Venus Hair, and then I have a Sailor Pro Gear. And then lastly, a Pilot Kakuno. So I'll go ahead and uncap all of these. So there are all of the pens uncapped and you can see actually, funny enough, the Banu Talisman is, looks like it's the longest one just by a hair over the Twisby Diamond 580. And then in terms of the grip section, I do like the length of the grip section in the Esterbrook SD, 
but you can tell that the grip sections do vary in length and then you can also look at the step from the grip section to the body. There's a tiny step in the Le Bon 325 and then the grip section in the Twisby Diamond 580 is narrower. The grip section in the Pelican M605 is much smaller actually. And then within the Bennu Talisman, the grip section looks longer, but there is a bit more of a step up and the threads seem to be just a little bit more obtrusive. Uh, and then the Sailor Pro Gear is a smaller grip section, but there's, you know, those threads and the step up to the body, barely noticeable. And then here is the Pilot Kakuna with definitely a longer grip section. But in terms of just the overall length of it, I do like the length of the Estherbrook SD if it's really, really well in my hand. Now, I don't normally post my pens, but you certainly can with the SD. It does make it a very long pen, but it is a very I'm whipping it around here very securely posted if that is what you prefer so how many turns does it take to uncap the Estherbrook SD so let's try it so one and two so two the cap actually kind of just balances off there so remember there is the cushion cap mechanism in there so two twists which is not too bad but remember when you are putting the cap back onto the pen you do have to push the pen just a little bit in order to activate that cushion cap so now let's go ahead and ink this up also forgot to mention while i was inking this up that this does come with a standard international converter with the estherbrook logo right along the side there so every pen comes with your standard international converter. I would not eyedropper this because you can see the metal threads there. So metal on metal would not be good for fountain pen ink. So let's go ahead and do a writing sample. So here we go. I have inked this with something I hope that matches here. So this is the Ooh, Esterbrook. SD and oh my, that extra fine nib. Petrified forest with an extra fine Yovo nib. So, like I said, this is a number six Yovo steel nib. And it is looks very wet and it is smooth and it does have a little bit of that feedback that you would expect from an extra fine nib but it is not scratchy it is beautiful so those are some of the downstrokes and then upstrokes just as smooth actually and then is there any give to it a little bit of flex but again it's not made for flexing so I wouldn't recommend doing too much of that and then reverse writing it's actually not too bad and it's actually still quite wet for reverse writing if you really want a fine line but again it's not something that I use the pen for so the ink that I have in this is actually dye mine ochre I wasn't sure if this would be the exact match. It looks like it's a little bit more brown, but I like it. It's a very good wet ink and a good one that I think that uh, I chose to test this pen on. Absolutely lovely. So how does this pen feel in my hand? I love the way that this feels in my hand. It's so comfortable. It's the perfect weight, the perfect width for the grip section, perfect length. And where the threads are is actually where I place my fingers and it doesn't bother me at all. I get very, I have a very sensitive, oh, now I forget. What did Simona call it? Webbing. <laughs> this part of my hand is very sensitive to whatever pen I hold, but the Estherbrook SU just fits so perfectly well and it doesn't cause any pain in my hand. I absolutely love this. And this model pen is now what I compare all other pens to. So 
highly, highly recommend this. I'm already looking at what my next Estabrook SD will be. I don't know what that will be. <laughs> I don't know how soon I'm going to purchase that, but I'm just so thankful that you guys have supported my channel in the way that you have by either watching my videos, liking and subscribing, by commenting, by using my Atlas Stationers affiliate link. So I wanted to say actually a big thank you by hosting a giveaway. I'm going to share the details right now. This giveaway is just a thank you for anybody who's ever supported my channel by either liking or subscribing, but also commenting as well as using my Atlas affiliate link. So I wanted to gift somebody a three bottle mystery ink box from Atlas Stationers. If you're not familiar with it, they actually pull their boxes live on TikTok. So you can either have a hand in, you know, at least saying I want these colors or I want to try this brand, but the rest of it is a mystery unless you want to spoil the surprise and watch it being pulled on on TikTok. So you can enter it by completing the Google form linked in the description below and this is open to all residents in US and Canada. And what will happen is once the winner is chosen, we will order the mystery box. It will be pulled live on TikTok and then it will be sent directly to you. So this giveaway is open right now and it closes on Friday, May 26th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. The winner will be notified by email and announced on Saturday, May 27th. So do not respond to any of the comments or replies made on this uh, video post. I will contact you directly by email. So once again, thank you to everyone who has supported my channel. I'm so happy to be able to gift one of you a three bottle mystery inks, ink box from Atlas Stationers. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to be partaking in this fantastic hobby. So once again, thank you so much and enter the giveaway down below. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is my unboxing of my newest Estabrook Esty, the Petrified Forest, and I absolutely love it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.